Let's look at solving simultaneous equations using the elimination method. And this is a second example. So let's have a look here. We've got two equations with x's and y's. And we know we're trying to find where two lines meet at a particular coordinate point. So that's what we're trying to solve. But this one is not a straightforward elimination. If it was straightforward, then the coefficients of x or the coefficients of y would be the same number. In this case, they're not. So what we've got is we've got on one side I've got um, 5x and 3x, and then I've got 3y and 2y. So before I can eliminate, I need to adjust these equations. Now remember the overall algebra rule. What I do to one side, as long as I do the same to the other side, I'm not changing anything. Okay, so I could multiply each part piece of an equation by the same number, and that's what I want to do. So I want to find and see what is the either for x or y, I want to find the lowest common multiple. Okay, so if I take say x's, I've got um, I want to find the lowest common multiple of 5 and 3. So the lowest common multiple will be 15. So that's what I want to do. So that tells me I want to multiply equation number 1 by 3 to make that 5x into a 15x. And I want to multiply equation number 2 by 5 in order to again make the 3x into a 15x. So that's what I'm trying to do. So that's my next step. So equation number 1 and equation number 2. So the first thing I'm going to do, take equation number 1, and I've got 5x plus 3y equals 38, and I'm going to multiply that whole equation by 3. So I'm going to do 3 times 5x, which is 15x. That's what I want to get. 3 times 3y will give me plus 9y, and 3 times 38 gives me 114. So there, I'm going to call that equation number 3 now. Now I'm going to do a similar thing for the second one. So I'm going to take equation number 2 and multiply by 5. So I'm going to say 5 times everything in equation 2. So 5 times 3x gives me my 15x. Yay! 5 times 2y gives me 10y. And 5 times 24 gives me 120. So I'm going to call that equation number 4. So what I've now got is I've got two new equations. All right. And these two new equations now have the same coefficient of x, meaning I can use the elimination method now. Okay, so that's what I want to do now. So I'm just going to go on a new slide and write those equations down again. So we've got 15x um, plus 9y equals 114. So that was equation number 3. And we've got 15x plus 10y equals 120. That was equation number 4. Okay. So now I want to eliminate. So I'm going to put my line underneath. And now I need to think, am I going to add or subtract? So if I was going to add them, so if I had 15x plus 15x, that would give me 30x. If I had 15x take away 15x, that will give me 0. So that will do the elimination. So that's what I want, is I want to subtract those equations. So I'm going to put a big subtraction there in front. So... 15x, take away 15x, leaves me with 0. Then let's match up our y's. So I've got 9y, take away 10y. So 9y, take away 10y, will give me minus y. Then I'm going to do my numbers, 114 take away 120, and that's going to give me minus 6. So I'm nearly done now. So I've got minus y equals minus 6. I want to get rid of that minus sign. So I can do that by multiplying both sides by negative 1. 
So a negative times a negative makes it into a positive, so that's going to give me y equals, and again, negative 6 times negative 1 gives me positive y, positive 6, sorry. So there is my y value. Now remember, we're trying to find the coordinate point where they meet. We're trying to find both the x and the y value. Of, okay, so we've now found the y value, but I still need to find x. So I am going to substitute y equals 6 into, and I could use equation number 3, number 4, or equation number 1 or 2. I could use any of those. I'm going to use equation number 1, just because it happens to be the first one. So I'm going to substitute into equation 1 and get 5x plus 3y equals 38. So plus 3y equals 38. Now I'm substituting in, so my 5x stays as it is, the 3 stays as it is, but instead of y, I'm going to replace the y with that value of 6 that we just found. Okay, so now we want to finish solving that. So that's going to give me 5x plus 3 times 6 is 18 equals 38. Okay, so I'm going to leave my 5x alone and leave the equals 38 alone. And I'm going to move that positive 18 across to the other side and it's going to become minus 18. So that's going to give me 5x equals, and 38 take away 18 is 20. Now I need to get rid of the 5. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. They cancel to leave me with x equals 4. Good. Last step is I need to write out the answer. Okay, so the coordinate point where these two lines meet is when x is 4 and y is 6. And there's our answer.